right, so chapters uh, 22 and 23, um, I'm going to do together in discussion because they kind of go hand in hand. So starting with um, as many of the tree folk as possible, they joined uh, together. They put the word out that they wanted to have a meeting, which had never been done before. Um, so they waited nervously to see if anybody was even going to show up. Um, they really had no idea how many people would show up because they really had no idea of exactly how many people lived in their community. They stuck together in their own families um, so much most of their lives that they really had no idea how big their community was. So as people started showing up, um, some people came into um, the meadow area and showed themselves. Some people were still kind of up in the trees hiding a little bit. Um, and once everybody revealed themselves, they realized that there's possibly a thousand or two uh, people who came out for this meeting, um, which not only showed um, how persuasive just these few people had been in gathering everybody, but also kind of shows how crazy it is to live in their society and not even really know anybody who lives in their society. Um, so Kira decided that she was going to be really honest with her speech, and she was. She told them exactly what had happened with the Takers, what had happened with her village, how she lost her whole family, how um, everybody she knew and loved had been killed, and her entire village had been burned down. Um, somebody mentioned, of course, how... That it happened and how they found their community if they were so well hidden and so she was honest in that way too um, blaming herself which we know it really wasn't her fault um, but she went on to explain her role in it and was sure that everybody was going to turn against her which they didn't because they realized she didn't really do anything wrong um it was bad luck on her part but it was really the fault of these takers um there's a really great part of the story that i um a couple of sentences that i really liked and kind of sum up um a lot of the theme of this book so um when she spoke about when you have been born and raised in such a special place and taught to respect your lands and live within their means as all of you have been lucky enough to experience it can be difficult to understand those who do not it can in fact be difficult to even acknowledge that such people could exist so this definitely connects with a lot of different ideas um, and we can connect this to many different things. So this book specifically focuses on talking about the environment, talking about um, destruction of the environment, which I know we've talked a lot about this school year. We've done projects on it. You guys have written about endangered species and um, what global warming is doing to our planet. And so thinking about that as a whole. So when we think about it, the whole of our community as one planet, um, talking about people knowing to treat the planet well, to do things like recycling and to not um, overusing resources and to conserving energy as much as possible. And then realizing that there are people in our world like the takers who just consume without any thought behind it and who do things like litter and pollute um, and using resources that are damaging to our planet, um, destroying ecosystems like our oceans, that those people don't really care about the environment and they're more connected to people like the takers in our story who are just out to destroy and not think beyond their immediate actions. And so definitely hitting on a main theme of the story right there with her just simple words um, and almost explaining how they lived in that society of a volcano and they never really thought that there were horrible people out there and um, once faced with it, it ended up destroying their entire community. 
um, using that experience with the tree folk, they're in a similar situation where they don't really know what else is out there beyond the trees. They live in their beautiful little society and everybody lives peacefully and happily, um, not thinking that anybody out there who there's going to be anyone to threaten that. And there are people who are going to threaten it. The take and so they have a choice to either kind of ignore it um, and think, oh, that's not going to really happen to us, or they can prepare for it and fight against it, and that's what they're choosing to do. So unlike the people of Kira's old community in the volcano, um, they have a shot at not being destroyed by the Takers because they're going to fight against it. And um, definitely a good lesson to remember in our own lives today so you know we have choices of saying all right well this is just the way it is and these taker people are going to do what they're going to do or we can fight against it and protect our communities better so um following through with that theme going into the next chapter we learn about their plan and we kind of knew that they were planning on making all of these giants and that's what they wanted the community to do and so they showed um their whole community these puppets that they made and what they want to do with the puppets and so um again connecting those ideas to our real life experiences um coming up with ideas, coming up with plans of how to fight against the takers. Um, you guys all created projects on what can be done to help save our planet, what can be done to help save endangered species, um, what can be done to reverse the effects of climate change. And doing so, those are your ideas as children, but it's important that adults listen to those ideas because that's what's going to help moving forward. And so their whole community are listening to the plans made by children and they came up with these puppets and that's what they're going to go ahead and use moving forward to try and fight against the takers. And so the chapter ends with, um, the entire community kind of voting on whether or not they wanted to be a part of this plan. And they were told, you know, you're free to leave, you're free to not participate. Um, we're not going to fight anybody on that, but we are going to go ahead with this with as many people uh, as we can get. And everybody agreed. And uh, they were definitely more surprised than anything because they never thought that they could get everybody on board. And so the chapter ends with a definite positive upbeat. Um, they're forging ahead and they are going to be fighting the takers.